so let's start it's 7:15 almost okay how many of you are joined today 15 participants okay okay today our topic is types of insect head and its antenna okay mainly we focus on insect antenna and different types of antenna like you know about cetaceous antenna serrated antenna and many other types we will discuss them broadly uh, in this slide and uh, and the three types of insects said like prognathus opisthognathus and hypognathus we will discuss about these three types of insect head and its antenna and also the different parts of an in insect antenna we will discuss today's class okay so before beginning uh, i will again introduce myself i am rithik sarkar and i am from west bengal and i have completed my graduation from dr rpcu samastipur bihar and currently i am studying in icr iri new delhi uh, here there i am doing my masters in entomology and i have secured all india second rank in this year icr jrf examination and also i have selected in bhu this year through the cuet pg examination where i got to 97 marks so let's start okay so first the types of insects said so which type of head you can found in different kinds of insects okay there are mainly three types of head in insects which are hypognathous type prognathous type and opisthognathous type okay this classification of head in insect is mainly based on the inclination of the long axis of the head and the orientation of mouth part means the this is the long axis of the head and its inclination means it can be 90 degree angle it can be completely straight like 180 degree angle and it can be like completely uh, deflex type this is the main criteria of the classification of insect head okay so first is hypognathous head hypo means below these are two greek words and hypo means below and gnathous means jaw means below the jaw you can see the head type of a grasshopper there its jaw jaw means the mouth part it is completely below it is in in, in uh, directed towards 90 degree in uh, in bottom okay it is also known as the orthopteran types of head a head because this type of head is mainly found in orthopteran insects like grasshopper cricket locusts etc insect okay and the long axis is vertical you know about vertical and horizontal vertical means the head is like this and horizontal means it will be like straight okay so we'll discuss later hello any doubt sir ha bolo no doubt sir okay okay it's very basic okay and the vertical means ha ha hello हेलो किसी का अगर माइक कौन है तो उसको थोड़ा ऑफ कर दो ठीक है ना अगर डाउट होगा तभी पूछना सवाल ठीक है ना चलो स्टार्ट करते हैं तो जो हाइपोग्नेथस टाइप ऑफ हेड है तो वो क्या ऑर्थोप्टेरॉइड हेड है और इसकी जो लॉन्ग एक्सिस है वो ना वर्टिकल है ओके एंड इट इज 90 डिग्री टू द लॉन्ग एक्सिस ऑफ द बॉडी जस्ट इट इज द मेन पॉइंट it is 90 degree to the long axis of the body just remember this and the mouth part is ventrally placed and project projected downward you can see uh, in this photo the mouth mouth part is ventrally placed placed and it is projected downward okay and the example is grasshopper cockroach locust and crickets and other orthopteroid insects okay next is prognathus pro means in front and you can see the uh, mouth part of beetles or weevils there it is completely 180 degree to the long axis of the body okay so it is also you can say it is uh, this long axis is horizontal it's the long axis of mouth part is horizontal means it is straight and uh, this type of head is also known as coleoptera head because the beetles and weevils mainly belongs to the order coleoptera so this is also known as coleoptera head and its long axis is horizontal and it is in line uh, with the long axis of the body with an angle of 180 degree it is 90 degree angle and it is 180 degree okay 
and another type of head is ophisthognathus type of head ophistho means behind its mouth part is completely behind between the first pair of its legs and the head it is its its mouth part is directed towards the uh, first pair of its leg means its four legs and it is also known as hemiptera type of head or bug type of head in the bugs like in hemipteran bugs and in uh, heteropteran in homopteran and heteropteran bugs like in pentatomid bugs in belastomid bugs in red cotton bug and another bugs their head is completely deflexed you can see that it is deflexed it is totally projected uh, backwards and held in between the uh, four legs okay and this type of heads is known as opisthognathus uh, type of head and the example is different bugs any doubt anybody or anything to ask no sir sir in uh, hypogonathus uh, you have used ventrally placed word what does it means ventrally placed means look uh, you know about dorsal and ventral dorsal surface ventral surface okay this is a surface okay it's a surface and this part is the above part and the above part is known as the ventral part and the below part is known as the dorsal part okay so the hypogonathus type of head it is completely vertical okay so vertical means it is downward projected and horizontal means it is normal straight line so vertical that's why the mouth part is ventral as it is vertical it is downwards so it its mouth part is ventral also projected downward understand yes sir iska jo mouth part hai wo niche ki taraf उसका जो मतलब साइड है उस नीचे की तरफ हिला हुआ है ओके okay? इसीलिए इसको बोलते हैं दिस इज नोन एज वेंट्रली प्लेस्ड सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंसेक्ट एंटेना ओके द इंसेक्ट एंटेना इज मेनली मल्टी सेगमेंटेड दे आर मेनली थ्री सेगमेंट इन इंसेक्ट एंटेना ओके दैट इज केप पेडिसल एंड फ्लैजेलम अच्छा आई विल आस्क अ क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू डू यू नो इन हुईच इंसेक्ट और इन हुईच इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर देयर इज नो एंटेना एनी बडी कैन एंसर इन दैसेज और कैन अनम्यूट प्रोटूडा वेरी गुड प्रोटूडेंस और दिल्स एंड टेल्स डजेंट हैव एनी एंटेना गुड एंड and there are many insect orders where antenna is seven segmented eight segmented but mainly the insect antenna is divided into three parts okay the parts are scape pedicel and flagellum okay here you can see this is the part of head capsule from where the antenna is, is attached okay the antenna is attached in this part this this can be the head insect head and there will be the compound eyes and there is the antenna the basal part basal and the large part you can see this part this is the large part and this is the basal segment which is directly attached to insect's head okay this is known as the scape okay this is the basal segment and it is the largest segment and next uh, the second segment which is known as pedicel it is just after the scape this small segment okay the small segment this is known as pedicel this is the below segment below large segment is scape after the scape the small segment is pedicel and uh, here the main mass of sensory organ is present the mass of sensory organ is present uh, in the next slide you can see the picture that is known as johnson's johnston's johnston's organ okay in this this is a patent question this question is asked in many competitive examinations or also in gra where you can find the johnston organ the johnston organ is found in the pedicel and it is mainly works as a crotonal organ crotonal means hearing organ okay in mosquitoes and in gall midges I mean midges any kind of midges that can be called gall midge and other midges the cecidio mite so the johnston johnston's organ is present in pedicel and the uh, terminal portion uh, just after the pedicel this portion is known as the flagellum okay and this flagellum is also known as clavicula and there is no individual muscles in flagellum there is no individual muscle this is this question is asked 
and in which part of insect antenna there is no individual muscles then the answer will be flagellum okay this question is asked and you should know about this and another question uh, from nervous system is asked here that uh, which uh, which part of brain is innervated by antenna the answer will be de deuterocerebrum okay antenna innervated deuterocerebrum just remember this fact and if you have copy and pen then put it down okay antenna innervated deuterocerebrum in the brain there are three uh, three parts in brain that is protocerebrum deuterocerebrum and tritocerebrum antenna innervates the deuterocerebrum important one and there are some uh, definitions that is uh, pedicel this is the second segment and this is shorter than scape and johnson organ is present here and the flagellum the ultimate or last or terminal segment of the antenna and there are many receptors are present and it is also known as clavula this can be asked which part of the antenna is known as clavula clavula is also known as flagellum okay next next the function of insect antenna the insect antenna is uh, has many functions it has many functions not only just sensing the outside uh, sense uh, not only the sensory function it has so many functions like it is useful to detect chemicals like uh, pheromones you know about pheromones pheromones mainly attracts opposite sex and mainly the pheromones are secreted by moths and butterflies and we use uh, this pheromone to make pheromone traps by which we can catch the moths and uh, destructive moths like helicobacter parmigera sporoptera litura etc and this is an important method of uh, mechanical control okay the pheromone traps so the uh, main function of antenna is to detect chemicals including food and pheromones and the moths mainly secrete pheromones okay. and another function of antenna is to perceive smell you know that many insects like cockroaches and other insects perceive smell through their antenna and humidity changes the red floor beetle an important storage grain pest uh, this mainly uh, detects the change in atmospheric humidity means the presence of water in the atmosphere because the red floor beetle needs more humid uh, weather condition to live well so it can sense the change in humidity by its antenna this question is important which insect can sense humidity changes by its antenna the answer will be red floor beetle and the variation in temperature the vibration most like mosquitoes they use their antenna and there is chlorotonal organ or johnston's organ that can sense the vibration and many insects detect wind velocity and wind direction through its antenna okay and antenna is also useful to perceive the forward environment and detect danger because as the antenna as the insect can sense uh, the environment through its antenna so it can sense the uh danger like if any prey if any insect that is prey it can sense the the smell of its predator or the uh it can sense its its predator predator which is coming towards it to catch and antenna is useful for it to uh, keep itself safe from its predator and it is also useful in hearing in mosquitoes and also communication in ants and rarely it is also useful to clasp the mate in flea insect for the copulation purpose or for mating the male insect use its antenna to clasp the female insect it is important this question can be asked because it is an exception and also in grasping the prey chavaras is an insect which has very long antenna it is from hymenoptera and this insect can use its antenna to catch its prey it is extremely uh, muscular its uh, antenna and there are a lot of muscle in its flagellum so it can use its antenna to catch its prey so here antenna is also used for it for the purpose of predation this is important to just you need to remember this two type to function of antenna like clasping of mate and grasping the prey that is flea and chavoras respectively next next different types of antenna in insect this is this is completely uh, you have to remember this type of antenna and their uh, the example okay this question in every year jrf this type of questions are asked like in jrf 2022 the question uh, in the a statement type of question was asked like in statement 1 
the question was that plumose type of antenna is present in male mosquito in statement 2 the plumose type of antenna is present in female mosquito so the answer will be statement 1 is correct but 2 is incorrect because plumose is present in male and pylose type of antenna is present in female mosquito i have a trick i i remember this by a trick that is in plumose p l u m o s e there is a m okay so it is present in male male mosquito this was a trick invented by me and in pylose there is no m so it is present in female okay just remember m is present in plumose so it is present in male mosquito that is m and pylose is present in female mosquito okay uh, is it's a short trick and just you can uh, note it down in your copy okay now different types of antenna and the and the example so firstly the cetaceous antenna or bristle like bristle means chabuk in hindi uh, bristle means chabuk chabuk means hunter okay the antenna of dragonfly and damselfly and cockroaches is uh, like a hunter or chabuk and the size of the segments mainly decreases from the base to its apex like you can see in the base this is base and this is the apex and the size of the segment gradually decreased okay you can see there is this is this is some sort of thick then at the terminal end it is so much thin so the size of the segment decreased and it is mainly present in dragonfly and damselfly just remember the examples because the examples are asked in every year jrf examination and uh, i i have uh, used all the examples including from refresher treatise and insecta one which can be asked in the examination so it is a compiled from you can go through this that will be enough for the for all the jrf for ex another examination purposes okay just uh, take a screenshot of this slide another one is filiform antenna which is also known as the thread like antenna the segments are usually cylindrical here and the thickness of the segments remains same throughout okay uh, normally in the filiform antenna the thickness is same like if it is normally straight this type and there is no decrease or increase in the segments from the base to apex and this is mainly found in ground beetle the scarabs and the grasshopper okay <clears throat> next moneliform or bead like antenna and the moneliform like bead you can see bead means mala samasthe you can understand mala means the uh, the mala that is made of pearl okay pearl type of mala like th this is known as bead and in moneliform antenna the antenna is completely like beaded short 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 bead completely made antenna and this uh, moneliform antenna can be seen in termite this is also very important made very very important in which insect moneliform antenna can be seen in termites i think this question may be asked in chair 2024 my sixth sense said this okay moneliform antenna in termites and uh, next is ramos it is important it is present in male parasitic hymenoptera. This is not uh, written in, in uh, insecta one. This is from refresher. So you can remember it. Male parasitic hymenoptera means the small wasps like Chelsea dwarfs, Bethali dwarfs, they are mainly parasitic and uh, they can they can be used as parasitoid to control different harmful insect pests. Okay. And the Ramos type of antenna can be seen in male parasitic hymenoptera. <clears throat> Next, the clavid or clubbed, the club type of antenna, that is the antelan segment enlarges gradually towards the tip. Okay. In the clavid type of antenna, hello, am I audible now? Nah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Any doubt till now? Please feel free to ask me. No, sir. Okay, okay. okay. Koi bhi, koi bhi doubt hoga to pooch lena beech mein, theek hai na? Interrupt karge. क्योंकि आप ही लोगों के लिए क्लास है कोई भी डाउट होगा तो आप लोग पूछ लेना यू कैन ऑलवेज फील फ्री टू आस्क सो नेक्स्ट द क्लेबेट टाइप ऑफ एंटेना दिस इज आल्सो क्लब्ड टाइप दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन ब्लिस्टर बीटल माइलरविस पस्टुलेटा द साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ ब्लिस्टर बीटल एंड द क्लेबेट टाइप ऑफ एंटेना हियर द एंटेलल सेगमेंट एनलार्जेस ग्रेजुअली टुवर्ड्स द टिप ओके this is this is the its base and this is the tip and it is gradually enlarged okay 
at first it is small 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 then it is enlarged this is clavate and this is present in blister vitel another type of antenna is capitate or knobbed you all you all maybe saw you all maybe see the antenna of a butterfly okay uh, because butterflies are very common and its antenna is type capitate means the terminal segment is become enlarged suddenly suddenly its terminal segment become enlarged uh, in the next page i think there is the photograph i will come here capitate or knob type of antenna knob type of antenna and another one is serrate or saw like the serrate type of antenna like saw means you always know which the saw is a instrument which is used to cut the wood saw karat bhi bolte hai isko and the serrate type of antenna is mainly seen in different longicon beetles and this is important like given longicon beetles like the serrate type of antenna is also seen in pulse beetle an important question which type of antenna can be seen in pulse beetle that is serrate type of antenna and another one is pectinate which is also comb like comb you all use comb to comb your hair and this pectinate uh, or comb like antenna can be seen in the mustard soft fly here the pectinate you can see this is like completely like comb and this antenna can be seen in mustard soft fly means athero 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 lugens proxima and the plumos i just previously told you the plumos or feathery antenna in male mosquito and the pilos or hairy antenna in female mosquito there is m in plumos so it is in male mosquito there is not a, any m in pilos it is in female mosquito okay this is a just a trick to remember another one is aristate antenna aristate type of antenna this is aristate type of antenna like a small uh, terminal segment here it is enlarged its terminal segment this is enlarged and it bears a conspicuous beetle uh, this is a conspicuous bristle bristle means you all know about the bristle this is like a bristle this is all this is known as the arista so this type of antenna is known as the arista type of antenna okay it is found in syrphid fly and the common house fly that is musca domestica musca indica and also domestica both can be correct and in stylet the stylet type of antenna uh, the terminal segment bear a style okay a style means a small process a small style like process look look at this this is the terminal segment this bears a small style like process this is known as the stylet antenna and it is important it a uh, stylet type of antenna found in horse fly and robber fly okay this this is important another is flavellet or fan like antenna this is flavellet antenna this is like a fan hand fan okay this is and this fan like antenna <coughs> uh, is found in mainly different strepsipteran or stylopids and different cedar beetles and uh, here uh, the third segment is very small and uh, the you can see the third segment it is very small the first segment is large then it is uh, small and the third segment is too much small and ultimately it uh, its its sides become enlarged and giving a fan like arrangement so it is known as flavellet or fan like antenna another one is lamellet or plate like antenna uh which you can found in uh different types of uh, scarab beetles scarab beetles are also one kind of brown beetles and their antenna is plate like and the geniculate or elbowed many many important in which insects the geniculate or elbowed like antenna can be found you can see this is and this is the elbow elbow of our hand okay uh, this is like the uh, our if you if we imagine our hand it is the elbow and it is the portion where our fingers are present and it is the biceps portion and their antenna of honey bee and ants and different kinds of wasps are geniculate type or elbow type very very important very important this is and another one is hold type of antenna and it is not so common it is only found in mango milliver drosica mangifera this is not so much important but you can see it so these are the different types of antenna in different insects okay you must need to uh, know the example of this because in every year jere examination one example from antenna is mainly asked so don't uh, forget don't uh, only rem remember remember the names of this antenna because it is very important hai har saal puch sakta hai is question is bar bhi aa sakta hai maybe mere hisab se according to me the serrate antenna and the monoliform antenna is too much important 
along with geniculate antenna okay and uh, here are the examples with a pictorial documentation here are the aristate antenna in house fly here are the lamellate antenna in beetles serrate antenna it is also present in pulse beetle the flavellate antenna it is cedar beetle it's flavellate antenna and the moniliform antenna these are white ants or termites okay bead like antenna the cetaceous antenna in cockroach like a bristle chabuk or hunter the geniculate antenna present in the ant like elbow elbow of our hand the plumose antenna this is the male mosquito this uh, feathery type and the pectinate antenna this is present in beetles and the clavet antenna in blister beetle and the stylet antenna it is present in rubber fly or in the horse flies okay there is the small style like process in this type of antenna so that is our today's portion uh, from this portion you mainly need to remember this part the types of antenna and example and this thing uh, the which insect can use it antenna for clasping the mate and for grasping the prey this can be asked in exam and okay so, uh, it's enough any doubt of today's class hello acha messages sir aap bhara hua bol rahe ho to isko kya bole fir हेलो रमनदीप हेलो एम आई नॉट ऑडिबल यस सर हाँ रमनदीप हु इज रमनदीप इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट देन आस्क मी I don't know where is Amandeep. Oh. Any any doubt? Anyone? Uh, Aditya. Yes. Hello, Aditya Kumar. Uh, any doubt or anything you you couldn't understand? Because I think no, sir. This is not a, uh, this is not a part of understanding. Like this is not plant science or this is not. Uh, biotechnology here lot of concept you get you just have to remember the things yes sir. i can only suggest you which part is important which part is not because i practiced so many test papers from 2008 to 2021 and i also given the exam in 2022 so i just have the experience i have the idea that which type of questions can be asked or not so i don't know here in antenna portion i just uh, which thing you are not understanding here acha next uh, ankit yes sir ha uh, koi doubt ya fir kuch extra janna hai no sir no sir acha jo antenna vagere gaya na uske example acche se dekh lena theek hai na yes sir ha khas karke moniliform geniculate to ye sab टाइप का का दे रखा रखा था था वो वो रूम क्या इंसेक्टा में भी गलत लिखा हुआ तुम बस याद रखना जो क्लेवेट टाइप होता है वो बिस्टर बिटल में होगा और कैपिटेड टाइप होगा बटरफ्लाई दोनों ऑप्शन में दोनों टाइप दोनों टाइप के लगाना देखो अगर मैं एग्जांपल अगर दे रहा हूं तुमको कि अगर 50, uh, 100% बटरफ्लाई है इसमें से 60 टू 70% में कैपिटेट टाइप ऑफ शो करता है बाकी क्लेवेट कुछ-कुछ में शो करता है लेकिन मेनली क्लेवेट टाइप ऑफ एंटेना तुम्हा तुमको एग्जाम पर्पस में देगा तो इसी ऐसे ही देगा कि ब्लिस्टर बीटल ऑप्शन में रहेगा क्लेवेट बटरफ्लाई देगा ऑप्शन में कैपिटेट में यस yes, सर ठीक है ना निमराज सुंदर में गलत है यू कैन करेक्ट इट इन द बुक सर इंसेक्ट वन का बोल रहा था इंसेक्टा वन में तो कैपिटेट बटरफ्लाई है और क्लेवेट ब्लिस्टर भी है मैं तो यही पढ़ा था जितना मुझे याद है 
यस सर क्लाइमेट ब्लिस्टर बीटल और कैपिटेट बटरफ्लाय सर हाँ वही तो पढ़ा था मैं भी और यही याद रखना तुम लोग इंसेक्टा वन का ये मुझे लगता है सही है क्योंकि टीएनयू यू के नोट्स में भी शायद यही था मैं तो यही पढ़ा था कुछ हाँ अच्छा और वासव किरण एनी डाउट सर नो सर ओके ओके एंड मोनस मोनस श्री एनी डाउट ओके ओके रणवीर ऑल क्लियर सर ओके जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक नोट्स एंड ट्राई टू मेक द ट्राई टू राइट डाउन द एग्जांपल्स ओके एंटेना यस टाइप एंड एग्जांपल एंटेना टाइप एंड एग्जांपल बाकी कोई क्वेश्चन और पूछेगा नहीं इस चैप्टर से मेनली टाइप और एग्जा टाइप और एग्जांपल ही पूछेगा ओके सर और एक क्वेश्चन तो हर साल पूछता है इस चैप्टर से वन क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन इज आस्क्ड इन एवरी ईयर तो बस एग्जांपल देख के चल जाए ओके सूरज यस सर कोई डाउट सर ये जो पढ़, आप पढ़ाते हैं सर उससे पहले उसके बारे में बता दिया करें कि आज की आज क्लास किसके बारे में होगी हम थोड़ा पढ़ के भी आए इसके बारे में सर आ, वो तो भेजा होगा ना ग्रुप में वो ये हरि प्रसाद सर ने देखे देखे ग्रुप देखे नहीं हुआ सर ये तो अभी थोड़ी दिन वो शायद दस बजे डाला था कि सात सात बजे क्लास होगी लेकिन ये ये तो पता अभी चला कि मौत पार्ट एंड एंटीनी की क्लास होगी सर माउथ पार्ट नहीं एंटेना और वही टाइप ऑफ हाँ सर मैं देखता हूँ ग्रुप में ग्रुप में तो डाला था एक साथ को एक साथ पीएम को डाला था एक बार देखना ग्रुप अच्छे से ओके सर थोड़ा मतलब देख लेना मतलब मैं तो नहीं हरिप्रसाद सर ही भेजता है ग्रुप में डेली वही बना बनाया है स्केड्यूल तो अच्छा ठीक है मैं सर को बोल दूंगा कि थोड़ा जल्दी करने के लिए ठीक है ना कल ले इनसे क्लिक्स रहेगा टुमारो द टॉपिक विल बी इनसे क्लिक्स ओके सर थोड़ा पढ़ लेना कि मुझे पूछ सकते पूछ सको कोई क्वेश्चंस ठीक है ना ओके सर उसमें भी बस देयर आर एग्जांपल्स लाइक ऑल द टाइप ऑफ पर्सोलियल एम्बुलेटोरियल ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ क्लिक्स ओके ओके सर दुखता इंटरेस्टिंग पोर्शन विल बी इनसेक्ट फिजियोलॉजी देयर द थिंग्स लाइक कंसेप्शन थिंग्स विल बी coming there okay. morphology taxonomy and the insect pet pest portion is totally we yaad karne wala ratta marne type ka question hai bas koi example yaad rakhna you just have to okay, remember sir. the examples okay in physiology okay. there are conception okay okay sir okay. so okay shravani any doubt hello I think network is poor. अच्छा, spruthi, spruthi any doubt? Spruthi? No sir. Okay, okay. You you just go through the topic, okay? From insect education and also my notes. Also my notes. Okay. If you have any doubt, please ask me, okay? Okay you sir. You paid money. You paid a lot of money to buy these courses, so you are always feel free to ask me. Okay. Okay sir. Okay. and uh, shrestha shri vidya you guys have any doubt hello shri vidya no sir okay okay good vishwanath hello vishwanath Can I think network there will be network issue. Okay, so today's class is over. Okay, uh, tomorrow at seven pm uh, we'll again meet and our topic will be insect leg. Okay, I will ask questions from today's class. Okay, I will ask questions. Okay, just uh, read the portions and uh, who body answer firstly. Uh, i will mention his name in the group that his performance is good so you have to you have to read the topics well read today and also tomorrow in the morning 
and also in the evening time just the example and the names i think it will be remembered very easily three time revision is enough for this insect antenna portion this is not so much hard just have to remember the name and types of antenna that is so tomorrow we'll meet at 7 before starting our tomorrow's class we will ask i will ask questions from this insect antenna chapter and you all are requested to read this chapter and i will ask questions and uh, whoever answers correctly all the questions i will mention his name in the group that his performance is well and he is going very well okay so thank you very much we will meet tomorrow so ha ha sir handbook of entomology mein sir dekha da ds red team sir clavet type ka butterfly ka actually mere ko bol raha hai us maine dekha dekho clavet clavet or ye clavet or capitate थोड़ा मतलब उसमें कंफ्यूजन है लेकिन मैं बोलूंगा कि अगर एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन पूछे ना तो कैपिटेट बटरफ्लाई का करना यस क्योंकि जो लास्ट ईयर जो रैंक वन था ना सौरभ एक तुम तुम लोगों के सीनियर होंगे मेरा भी सीनियर था तो ये क्वेश्चन सेम मेरा उससे डाउट था मैंने पूछा था उसको तो उसने बोला था कि मेनली जो जेर और टाइप के एग्जाम्स आते हैं उसमें बटरफ्लाई का कैपिटेट ही लिया जाता है मेनली पता नहीं बहुत सारी जगह पे बहुत निमरा सुंदा में भी क्लेबेट दिया हुआ बटरफ्लाई में लेकिन मैंने जितनी जगह पे देखा मतलब एमसीक्यू बुक्स में तो मैक्सिमम में कैपिटेटी था यस नहीं तो ये क्वेश्चन मैं एक बार बिमल कुमार साहू सर से और एक बार पूछ लूंगा कि उनके हिसाब से क्या लगता है तो मैं एक बार ग्रुप में लिख दूंगा ठीक है ना आज क्योंकि मैं तो खुद कैपिटेट पढ़ा था बहुत सारी जगह पे क्लेबेट है ये मुझे पता है बट ये ये तो है एंटोमोलॉजी में ये प्रॉब्लम है कि बहुत कंफ्यूजन है बहुत देयर आर सो मेनी टॉपिक्स they are in insect type you can find an a thing in dsd they are the, the that will be another thing in triple e completely another thing so i will ask bimal sir okay and i will uh, write down the the thing which he uh, which, which which he will tell, tell me in the group okay yes sir okay chalo fir khatam karte hain aaj ke liye kal milte hain lekin padh ke aana theek hai na aaj ka topic acche se main question puchunga sabse ओके सर ठीक है ठीक है चलो बाय थैंक यू